welcome to my second day of the Reading Rush vlogs. This is going to be, so this video I am going to complete the Racing to Read book tag for this year. It's another video challenge that I have and that's really going to be most of what I have up for today's vlog just because um, I haven't been doing as much reading. I've been doing other productive things like doing the Instagram challenges or doing my wedding planning. So, and that's actually why I'm all done up is because the makeup artist we hired to, for my wedding came by and did a makeup trial today. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm just going to get right into this tag and that's probably going to be it for today, but it's going to be fun. So the questions in this tag are all themed for the racing part of it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the first question is the warm up. A book that stretches your mind and for this I would say any of the Twisted Tales by uh, Liz Braswell or Jen Kalanetta um, because those and I own five of them I've read three of them so far that's that's because you know they're, they're based off of like the Disney movies and the original stories but then there's a twist and so it always stretches my mind to like compensate for the twist and kind of accept the story as a possibility so that's what I would say stretches my mind the most. Second prompt is the starting line. What is the book you started but never finished? Um, I don't remember who the author was, but the book was called Gone. I checked it out from the library a long time ago, started reading it, didn't really capture my attention as much as I hoped it would, and then um, I had to give it back to the library and I just never checked it out again to finish it, so... Gone. <laughs> uh, third question, Sprint. What's a book you read really quickly? This is a hard question for me to answer because I feel that most of my audiobooks I tend to read really quickly or like obviously short books I do or if they were for a readathon I will read them very quickly because I have to because I always push them off to the last minute. So I don't know if I have like one book that fulfills this question. Although I am, I think for that one I'll say Aragon by Christopher Paolini. I think I read this quickly because I actually read this on the family trip to Montana and to visit my relatives there and I read this because I had seen the movie adaptation first and my dad and brother would just always be like, oh the movie is so bad. But I was sitting there like, what's wrong with the movie? I liked it. And they'll be like, have you even read the book? And I was like, no. And they were like, Oh, once you read the book, you'll understand. So on a family trip to Montana, I finally picked up the book and I just read it in the car, which I cannot normally read in the car, but I obviously read this very quickly um, on that trip. So that's what I'm going to say. And I really enjoyed this. And yes, the movie sucks. But I can save that kind of rant for another video. And next one, Marathon. What is your favorite long book? So for me, a long book is going to be like longer than 500 pages. And I realize that I have a lot of books that are like in between 450 pages and like 490 pages. Um, but the book off my shelf and that I remember <laughs> um, really enjoying, even though it was kind of thick, it's just barely over 500 pages, and it's The Language Inside by Holly Thompson. Um, this is a book about a girl who is Caucasian, but she was born and raised in Japan, and so she kind of deals with her identity as she doesn't look Japanese, but she definitely doesn't feel American either. So I really appreciated this book, and it was just very wonderful to read. Next one are the hurdles. What is a book that had its ups and downs? For that one I'm gonna go with The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hoke uh, because I started it and I really liked it but then it kind of went downhill and I wasn't liking the characters or what they were doing but then by the end I was like okay I should read the second book. I, I should and it kind of just went up and down for me in that way. Finish line. What is a book you were proud to finish? And this one I'm gonna slightly tweak because I'm gonna go with The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Um, so I was proud to finish this book, not because like, like it's a smaller book, so it wasn't like that big of an accomplishment on its own, but this is the third and final book in the Airfolk trilogy by Holly Black, and I was just really proud of myself to finish the trilogy because so often I will start a trilogy, a series, a group of books, whatever, and I just won't ever finish it for, and it doesn't even have to be like, oh, I didn't like the book or it kind of started to go downhill. I just, I'm so bad at finishing series. So when I finally finished 
this trilogy, the last book in the trilogy. I was very proud of myself for that. The second to last one is the Gold Medal. Best book you've read during a readathon. And this one I had a fight between two books that I really enjoyed, but ultimately this one won because it is a five star book that I've talked about quite a bit in some previous videos, and that is An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard. I loved this one from start to end, five star read all the way around. I read it for my OWLs uh, this past spring. Um, so yeah, this will be my gold medal. And the last question is the participation ribbon. <laughs> Um, an underrated book you wish got more attention. I am gonna go with The Candle and the Flame by Nafisa Azad because this came out in May of last year, 2019, and I heard some buzz about it, but I really loved it and I loved, like, the mythology and the kind of magic with it and the characters. I just... Yeah, I really enjoyed this one, and I kind of wish I'd gotten a little more hype. So that is the Racing to Read book tag from the Reading Rush for 2020. That was a lot of fun. It was really hard for me to choose one book, but also to choose a book for some of the prompts. And I'm not going to do too much more vlogging of today, just because it's been such a busy day, as I said earlier on in the video. Um, but if you guys have want to answer any of those questions because they're such fun unique questions please comment them down below letting me know um, because I'm really interested in what you guys read and kind of your opinions on different books especially the participation ribbon um, when an underrated book you wish got more attention like I really want to know what those are so comment down below um, also subscribe to this channel for I will be doing um, a video every day during the reading rush but then I will also upload a video every month after that and I'm doing a really cool project or at least I think it's a really cool project right now and hit the like button if you like this tag or if you saw any of the books in there and there and you like agreed with me or even if you disagreed with me like still like the video just saying um so with that I'm going to wish you guys a happy reading